Videos of the quarry explosion in Antua Boso, a once thriving town in the Shama district, showed the extent of destruction with people burned, structures damaged, and lives lost. As rescue efforts are ongoing, explosives have been discovered at other sites kept unauthorizedly and without permission. Upon intelligence, we decided to move out and we came to meet this explosive. We call Mineral Commission to confirm whether indeed it is those things that they use in the brassing. And they indeed confirm that it is explosive material. The Minerals Commission is concerned about the licensing regime of quarries as it has been raised with questions about the widespread impact of illegal mining in communities and the lack of permission to store harmful substances. We have to trace where these things are coming from. But for the meantime, there are approved facilities. We are in touch with the, those facility owners to transport this AN to those facilities. This AN, when it's mixed with oil and other agents, it becomes an exclusive, very dangerous. Parliament Select Committee on Environment has visited affected areas following the quarry blast, highlighting the lack of coordination and collaboration between state agencies to ensure the safety and welfare of residents. Generally, our findings is that um, Galamse is still pervasive, even within the concession, official concessions. Maybe we need to rethink the whole uh, mining laws and how we are doing mining in and uh, generally, we are not very happy with the compliance of environmental standards. The Shama District Chief Executive and the Assemblyman for the area have been summoned for further interrogation. The issues are too many. Uh, some borders on the legality, the registration of the company operating, some borders on uh, the performance of the relevant state agencies is an issue that we as a committee on environment will need to invite the stakeholders involved. We had a PRT incident. Uh, we now have this one. Uh, next time we don't know the scale at which the next one will be. Security personnel are currently stationed at the quarry site to ensure safety and prevent community members from being intrusive.